if we are talking about the Australian airline Qantas, so short of staff that it's asking senior executives to work as baggage handlers for three months. The carrier is looking for 100 volunteers to work at airports in Sydney and Melbourne. The Qantas managers will move bags manually and they'll drive luggage vehicles too. Well, let's speak now to Chris Roebuck, who is a global leadership expert. Um, Chris, an interesting move, this. Um, do you think it makes sense? Uh, to some degree, I think they managed to find perhaps a complicated answer to a, a simple question. Uh, I mean, the first question inevitably is, why are Qantas in that mess? Uh, to be blunt, all the other airlines are as well, but that just doesn't excuse the management at, at Qantas. And yes, they're getting 100 volunteers. They're going to do either two, three or, or five days a week doing this baggage handling. But it's not going to be in addition to their own job. And I'm just asking the simple question, well, hang on, you can't be in two places at once. So if you're going to be doing the baggage handling, who's going to be doing your job? And in the end, it just boils down to what makes most sense for Qantas in terms of utilising the people they have doing the jobs they do. And there's also the issue of wage inequality, because if these senior executives are doing the baggage handling job alongside people whose actual job it is, who are being paid significantly yeah. less, is that not going to create a little bit of resentment there? Well, I mean, maybe if they're happy enough to volunteer to do the baggage handling, they should perhaps volunteer to hand out a little bit of their salary to their new colleagues. But it goes to my point, you know, is this the optimal way to deal with this problem? You know, they're going to have to be trained. So what's happening whilst they're being trained? As I said, there's the fundamental question, if they're not doing their job, who's doing their job? And does their job add more value to the organisation than them being baggage handlers? And, and the reality is, if you think about it, they just need to cover for three months. Surely, surely there must be enough people in Australia, students on holiday and other people who would like a short term job for three months. And that's and that's a very good point, because, you know, people are paid leadership level salaries in order to solve the big problems, the big issues that Correct. face a company. This feels like a very short term stopgap solution when actually maybe the all the energies and effort and time should be spent on yeah. looking at their recruitment processes looking at recruitment and retention policies well, precisely you know these somebody should be solving the problem not moving bags and and as i said i think it's a complicated answer to quite a simple question and yes leaders should be leading by example they should be getting involved when things go wrong but that's normally about your own boss. That doesn't mean that somebody who is just below board level should be moving Aunt Betsy's baggage about. It, it, from the perception of the organisation in terms of how much value do I deliver doing my job? How much value would I deliver moving bags? Mm. As I said, I don't think they're getting the optimum return on investment. They should go out and just say to the young people of Australia, the unemployed of Australia, hey, guys, do you want a job for three months? Mm. Well, I suspect uh, as long as Betsy's swimming costume and flip-flops make it on holiday, she doesn't care who's moving the baggage for her. Um, just a quick question, though, about <laughs> this idea of volunteering. If some senior execs yeah. volunteer, presumably it puts pressure on all the rest because the next time they do a sort of, I don't know, a progression review, how much have you contributed to the company, how much have you mucked in when the company needed you to, yeah. if some people haven't, might that harm their progression, do you think? Well, as you, as you and I know, it's about... There is an element of peer pressure in these organisations and, and some people will do it. But then that's down to the organisation to, to measure things sensibly in terms of who does these things. You know, maybe maybe single people who don't have family responsibilities, fine. But maybe other people who have significant family responsibilities or caring responsibilities, this would be difficult for them. And in terms of who does it and who doesn't do it, it isn't mm. just about that. It's about whether, in the final analysis, it's about are people giving their best for the organisation? That's what senior leaders should be encouraging. That's what everybody's boss should be encouraging. And I just think there are people out there in Australia mm. who haven't got a job who would welcome the money. OK, very good point. Chris, thank you very much. Chris Roebuck, uh, well, Global yeah. Leadership Expert there.